Lesson 2.3a, using the order of operations with integers. The order of operations applies to integer operations as well as positive number operations. First we do parentheses, then exponents, then we multiply or divide from left to right, whichever comes first, then we add or subtract from left to right, whichever comes first. And you can remember, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally for parentheses, exponents, multiply or divide, add or subtract. Here we've got a negative 3 plus a negative 3 plus a negative 3 plus a negative 3. We have four negative 3s. We have negative 3 four times. That's four times negative 3. This is a positive 4. This is a negative 3. They have unlike signs. If we multiply them, they'll produce a negative product. 4 times 3 is 12. It's a negative 12. If we added them from left to right, they all are negative. We have like signs being added. We have a negative 3 plus a negative 3. That's equal to negative 6. We add this negative 3. Now we're at negative 9. We add the last negative 3, we're at negative 12. So if they have like signs, the sign of the sum will be like the add-ins. Here we have a positive 5 multiplied by a negative 6, and then we need to add a negative 50. We multiply first, then add. So in this problem, we multiply the positive 5 times the negative 6, we get negative 30. Then we add the negative 50, it's equal to negative 80. The add-ins have like signs, so the sum will have a sign like the add-ins. So we're going to be doing some word problems, and you need to remember the steps to solving word problems. The first thing we do is read the problem carefully to understand what we need to find. What is it asking of us? We can highlight, circle, or note the important information given and look for clue words. Then we decide how we will use the information by choosing a strategy. We can choose one of these strategies. Then we solve it and check to see if our answer makes sense. We check it for reasonableness. So here's our first word problem. Gus made three withdrawals of $15 from his checking account. He also wrote a check for $50. By how much did the amount in his checking account change? So you notice I've already underlined the important information that there were three withdrawals of $15. Then he wrote a check for $50. Since withdrawals and checks decrease the balance of an account, we use negative numbers. We write a product to represent the three withdrawals. We have a negative 15 plus a negative 15 plus a negative 15. So that's going to be 3 times negative 15. We do the multiplication first. 3 times 15 is 45. They have unlike signs, so it's a negative 45. Now we add the negative 50 for the check he wrote. They have like signs, so our sum is going to be like the add-ins. We have negative 95. Gus's account decreased by $95 because that's a negative 95. And our justification is withdrawals and checks written remove money from a bank account. Here's our next word problem. Sarah lost four bags of coins in level four of a video game. Each bag contained 10 coins. When she completed level four, she earned a bonus of 100 coins. By how much did her quantity of coins change? We underline that she lost four bags of coins. It's important that each bag contained 10 coins. And it's important that she earned a bonus of 100 coins. So losing four bags of 10 coins would be four times negative 10. Earning 100 coins, this earning is a clue word that it's positive, it's a plus 100. So our equation is 4 times negative 10 plus 100. We're going to multiply, then add. 
4 times negative 10 is negative 40. They have unlike signs, so we have a negative 40. Negative 40 and a positive 100 have unlike signs, so we're going to find the difference of their absolute values. Negative 40, the absolute value is 40. It's 40 jumps from 0 and 100. Its absolute value is 100. We find their difference, which is 60. And the difference between negative 40 and positive 100 is 60. We use the sign of the greater absolute value. 100 is farther away from 0, and it's positive. So our sum is positive. Sarah's quantity of coins increased by 60 in level 4. To simplify means to write a fraction or expression in its simplest form. We rewrite an expression using shorter terms or smaller numbers that have the same value. It's telling us to simplify negative 7 times 15 minus 18. The first thing we do, according to the order of operations, is multiply. They have unlike signs, so we know our product is going to be a negative. 15 times 7 is 105 we know the product is a negative 105. So now we have negative 105, and we're going to subtract this 18. We could subtract by adding the opposite. We can add a negative 18. They now have like signs. We have 105 plus 18 is 123, and both add-ins have like signs. So our sum is going to be negative. It's negative 123. We use the sign of the add-ins. Here we need to simplify negative 6 multiplied by negative 27 plus a negative 32. According to the order of operations, we're going to multiply first. They have like signs, so we know it's going to produce a positive product. We multiply. 6 times 27, we get 162. We know it's a positive 162. Then we add the negative 32. Well, positive 162 plus negative 32, they have unlike signs, so we're going to find their difference, the difference of their absolute values. And we subtract 162 minus 32, we get a 130, a 130. We use the sign of the greater absolute value. 162 is farther away from 0, so it's got a greater absolute value, and it's positive. So our sum is positive. Now, if you're confused about which sign to use for our answers for any of this, you need to go back and see video 1.4a and video 2.1a that are linked in this description because we've covered all this. And if you're new to my channel or my videos, we learned all this already, and there's links that you can quickly watch to catch up. Here we need to simplify positive 9 multiplied by negative 9. Then we need to subtract a negative 10. According to the order of operations, the first thing we do is multiply. They have unlike signs, so we know our product is going to be a negative. And 9 times 9 is 81. We have negative 81. Now it says to subtract a negative 10, and we can subtract by adding the opposite. Instead of subtracting a negative 10, we're going to add a positive 10. They have unlike signs, so we find their difference. 81 minus 10 is 71. They have unlike signs, so we know to use the sign of the greater absolute value. Negative 81 is farther away from 0. We know it's a negative. 71. Here it's telling us to simplify negative 36 divided by 4. Remember, division problems can be written as fractions. So here we have negative 36 divided by 4 plus a negative 2. First we're going to divide, then we're going to add. So we can write negative 36 divided by 4 this way if we want. They have unlike signs. So we're going to have a negative 9. 36 divided by 4 is 9. It's going to be a negative 9. Now we need to add the negative 2. They have like signs, so the sum is going to be like the add-ins. 9 plus 2 is 11. We have a negative 11. 
Okay, we finished 2.3a. We're going to move on to 2.3b using negative integers to represent quantities. It's really important you remember that when you get to the multiplying and dividing part of the order of operations, we multiply or divide from left to right, whichever comes first. And for the addition and subtraction part of the order of operations, we add or subtract from left to right, whichever comes first. Have a great day. Hope you're okay. And I'll see you next time. Bye.